Welcome back to our channel and welcome to today's video where we continue our exploration of historic Jamestown. We visit the actual site where English settlers landed over 400 years ago. We will start with the Glass House and move to the original James Fort and Rediscovery Museum. These are still active archaeological sites. Let's check it out. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of our family travels and similar videos. This is a national park now. So we have to pay to get in. Historic Jamestown. The Jamestown Glass House. Established one year after the original landing and settlement. Glass must have been very important. You needed your cups and your Windows. Jugs and your windows, yeah. The source. Yeah. Blue and green. Sand. Soda ash. Then they melt it down. Pot ash and lime. Melt the sand mixture overnight. A double handful of this time. Oh, he picked Ooh, up some more glass. Lots. Are those things that he's rolling it in, are they cold? Are they wet? What is... At, at this point of the day, it's probably pretty hot because we're okay. just rolling glass in them. But you, you, you notice that it looks kind of wet. Yeah. That's actually uh, beeswax. We keep uh, um, a lot of our metal surfaces, including that plate, uh -huh. um, coated with beeswax. And that just prevents the glass from sticking. I mean, it's actually iron, but it's yeah. iron that's naturally present. Like, we don't have to add the, oh, add so the iron to make it green. So, okay. you, you grab sand and melt it, it's going to give you green. Yeah, look, nickel or iron makes it green. Manganese makes it clear. Cobalt makes it blue. Carbon makes it brown. Silver, yellow, tin, white. Where do we get cobalt? South Africa? Oh, watch, they're going to connect some... Put the bottom on there, which is called the foot. Oh. Stick to anything that's hot, so it's stuck right on there. He's gonna flatten it out so it'll stand up straight. Glass house ruins of 1608, a little farther down. Did we go the wrong way? <laughs> oh, here we go! Wow, this is a real deal. This is the original stuff. I think we entered on the wrong side, but. <laughs> the original kneeling furnace, fritting furnace. The kiln, the working furnace. You can still see the char marks on the stones. Look at that. This is the original one that real people worked on to make that, like the furnace you just saw. Mm -hmm. This is the. The, what's left of the original one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Glass has been a part of human history for over 4,500 years. And here on the edge of the uh, ocean river, you have lots of sand. I wonder how they figured out how to make glass. Like lightning? Fire? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, somebody had to discover a pudding. A malleable hot pudding somewhere. Sometime. Crucible from the glass house. Drippings recovered from the glass house. Like, they were making glass, and some of the pieces dripped off, and this is what was left. You can buy all their handmade items here. Replicas of what was really made here. Base, 
the glass house is off to your right before you get to the official Jamestown, original historical Jamestown. Look for the sign, hang a right, so you come down here, and then head back out and go down farther to the actual historic Jamestown where there's original foundations. We've made it to historic Jamestown. So we're heading into the visitor center. We have to buy tickets. This is, an, this is a national park. So part of our plan, if we have time, I hope, is to get um, Lincoln and maybe even Marin a uh, junior ranger badge. They should have a junior ranger program here. Lincoln's been doing it. Marin's never done one before. So we'll see if we have time for that. So while we're here, we're gonna take notice of all these things that we wanna learn. I bet these booklets are somewhat similar. I smell something better. I smell bark. You smell bark? Look at the river. What do you see? We have to count how many helicopters do you see? How many boats do you see? You could draw pictures. Draw pictures of what you see. So for what we can tell, this is organized kind of in two sections. So there's this part off to the left, which is the National Park. And then there's a section to the right, which is the Jamestown Rediscovery. And it is more of the archeological sites, but it's private. So there are two admissions when you get here, unless you have a National Park Pass. The 300th anniversary of the settlement here. That's what this monument is for. It's where the, the town expanded out in that direction. And so mm -hmm. that if you walk out there, there are foundations yeah. that have been I remember discovered this. by, actually by the National Park Service, and then outlined with modern bricks so that it looks, you know, you can see where it was. The people who discovered the fort were probably told by the National Park Service, hey, we've already looked, we know that there's yeah. no such thing. And then they vindicated themselves by finding the damn thing, which is a really <laughs> cool thing. Yeah. Now this is this is rebuilt. Yeah. This is a rebuilt yeah. Church. I can't remember when the See, this is the footbridge that we came across. There's yep. the big obelisk. Yep. We're standing right here. You can walk out here to see mm -hmm. the new town, which is all National Park Service. Oh, that's a barge. Mm -hmm. And this is old town. See, here's the outline of the sh of the fort. There was a circle here for guns, circle here for guns, mm. circle here for guns, but this part's been washed away. Yeah. And so they started and found the, the palisades here and here, and they they quickly knew that they had found the, the fort. Mm -hmm. And then they've done excavations everywhere around it. Here's the Arcararium, that's where the museum is. This is the little cafe. She said this is where there's an interpreter dressed like someone. All dressed up. The barracks site. Yeah. Well, let's go see it. James Fort. That my child. This is where they actually hold up, try to stay protected. The 14th of May, just after prayers upon the ships, we come ashore that morning. Axis, the sawyers with their saws, and we cut down trees to company, understanding a long, arduous voyage. No need to build cabins upon our arrival, but to erect tents. The trees cut, the sawyers reduced them to planks for ridge poles and upright. And within three days, our tents was erect in a large tent yonder for store tent. We shan't build a fort. 
till the 26th of May. It was in the morning. We seen a gathering before a tree line yonder. Near 200 of them, the natural. And a short while later, it near doubled to 400. And they fell upon us. Captain John Smith and the James River. Virginia Governor. That's where they actually found grave sites. This is an actual active excavation site. They found a cellar kitchen. And they found, the rediscovery team found bones, demonstrated conclusive evidence that historical reports of cannibalism during the starving time were true. Yikes. Partial skull, mandible, and leg bone in this kitchen area. We will go inside the church here for a second. Mm, this is like the their version of the recreation of the church we were in earlier at the settlement site. So this is an actual piece of the foundation of the church. Here you can see, right here is where we are standing, inside this that got recreated over it. So first was this, then, so this was 16, 17, 18, 1640s and then they built this tower in the 1680s and then the actual church that's still standing is from the early 1900s that's amazing look at those bricks the quarter like where people lived. Blacksmith shop, bakery. So they found things that indicated that they thought this was a bakery. Iron objects, fillings, melted lead. And a bellows and a fire pit. Let's go to the other side. This would have been a blacksmith. Here are some more foundations. It's amazing to think that just these wooden palisades would protect you from anything. Counselor's Row. Scale model of James Fort, based on archaeological remains and historical accounts. Bioarchaeology. They are excavating burial grounds. So obviously they have hazmat suits on. Wow, that's what's here. 
That's got to be hard work. And outside of the walls, more expansion. 1861. They call it Fort Pocahontas. They are ruins of a Confederate Civil War earthwork. So, many year, centuries later. This is a well. This well was in use in the first quarter of the 17th century, dating to the early years of Jamestown. When no longer usable, wells were used as a place to put garbage. This added many unwanted items, mixing with the few items that had been unintentionally dropped. So you can find lots of artifacts down here. goodness. To the glory of God and in the grateful memory of those early settlers, the founders of this nation who died at Jamestown during the first perilous years of the colony. Their bodies lie along the ridge beyond this cross in the earliest known burial ground of the English in America. Arche Archiarium. So these are burial sites right here? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. The thin black line is over the top of it. Yeah, it's built on top of the of these foundations. Hmm. Virginia General Assembly. This is the predecessor of the Burgesses Capitol building in Williamsburg. <clears throat> so this is mainly an, a museum of all of the artifacts that they've found. Wine bottle. Can you imagine giving this stuff up? That'd been you awesome. To, to pull this out of the ground. Box turtle carapaces. Bone. Mm -hmm. There. Huh. Okay. Some armor. They have an actual skeleton in here, and we're not allowed to video or photograph. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a halberd, which is what those guys are carrying. It's a weapon, kind of a ceremonial weapon, but it was a real thing. And this was found in the bottom of a well. They were digging out this wow. well, and there it is. They brought it up. It's cool. When did they start digging here and like excavating and stuff? They started, they found the fort in 1994. Okay. Look at these beads. You see these beads made out of oyster shells? That's cool. The rise of Senacamaca. <coughs> Rolls, black bear claws. The majority of contact period projectile points are made from local quartz and quartzite. Warriors adorn themselves with animal skins, teeth, and claws. Oh, that's that here in the middle. Wow. If you scan some of these QR codes, you can watch videos of them actually excavating stuff. This is a human remain. Archeologists found this brick lined well just outside the 1607 fort from studying the objects found both in the construction fill and inside the 14 foot 
deep well shaft. They know that it was built about 10 years after the colonists arrived and that it was no longer used by the mid 1620s. Colonists collecting water lost a number of ceramic and metal vessels in the well. This doesn't make sense. Oh, it's just like these are things they found in there. Armor. Vessels. Pieces of trash. Stuff you don't need anymore. Or maybe accidentally dropped in there. A shoe? <laughs> what are these? Frog skeletons. It was definitely a very full day. Pack your walking shoes. Um, it was actually pretty, pretty hot too. There's a lot of, not a lot of shade, but um, we didn't even see all of it. We had to kind of go through the museums and the exhibits pretty quickly. Um, depends on your timing, if you're gonna actually see a real life interpreter. Um, and we didn't even see the national park section. So, um, we only got to the Rediscovery Center with all the artifacts, and then we saw the Jamestown Settlement. But uh, yeah, there's a lot more to see here. You could spend a lot more time here. Some of the areas are kind of redundant. You'll hear the story of Jamestown and how they settled it and the timeline and, and all that a couple times over, but that'll help you remember it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming out with us. Make sure you hit like and subscribe, and we will see you with our next video. Thanks. Bye.